This is a 2015 Kawasaki Versys 650, and today we're going to give it our first impressions. Starting with the looks, this bike is, is obviously an adventure bike, but it still has a sporty look. So I'm assuming, I haven't sat on it yet, but I'm assuming you're going to be sitting upright, but it still has that kind of classic sport look to it, which I really like. Yeah, this feels so much lighter than that Ducati. My hips already cramping up. Like oh yeah. <laughs> Feels like my feet are really out in front of me. Uh, seating position. It feels comfortable so far. My feet feel a little bit further forward than I would expect. The handlebars are closer than I thought, so you're very straight up. The foot pegs seem like they're in a very good position. They're not too low, they're not too far back. Uh, the shifting lever does look a little small, but probably won't be an issue. The mirrors seem really close to me. Right away, the dash looks like it's in a really good position, a little bit smaller than I was expecting. For passenger capability, it obviously has a passenger seat with pegs. It looks like there's plenty of space for passenger and luggage. It says dual disc brakes in the front, single disc in the rear, ABS on the front. The foot pegs are very large and they do have a large piece of rubber on them as well. They should be very comfortable. This windshield is stock and it is also adjustable. It's in its max position right now. You'll be able to see where this sits compared to me during the test ride. Let's take this thing for a ride. Just getting on the Versi 650 and this has way more power than I was expecting. I did not expect this much power at all. The throttle feels so silky smooth. Oh man, feels very well balanced. Just leaning a little bit, you start to fall right over. That's exactly how I like it. Only on this bike for a couple minutes and it is so smooth. It's pretty ridiculous. This bike so far is very smooth, very comfortable, almost no mirror vibration, almost zero foot peg vibration. It's unbelievable how smooth this bike is. I love it. This bike has some power. Holy cow, bro. I did not expect a 650 to be this powerful. This is unreal and smooth. I really like this bike. This feels really good. This is so comfortable, easy maneuver, so fast. I can't believe how powerful this bike is. This is absolutely insane. Halfway through this test ride and I am sold on the Versi 650. This thing is amazing. My only complaint so far is shifting up is a little clunky. This bike's absolutely insane. Shifting up does feel a little clunky at first, but once you get used to it, it feels fine. Shifting down, no problem at all. I can already tell you before the end of this video, I would 100% buy this bike for six to seven thousand dollars you have a bike at 650 cc's this bike can go off road it can go on road it can tour it can hold a passenger it can carry bags it has tons of power what more do you need from a bike than what this bike can do this feels unbelievable I've never felt like this riding a motorcycle. It's easy to balance. I'm going what's said to be zero miles an hour, probably one or two miles an hour. Still my feet were up, not hard to balance. Easy to flat foot. Even someone 5'10 probably could flat foot this on both sides. 100% sold on this bike. Feels amazing, tons of power. Definitely capable can carry passengers, can carry bags. 
This will be interesting. I am test riding the NC750 DCT model from Honda tomorrow. So I will get a good feel this versus one of its direct competitors almost. I know brand new, this feels like it should be 10,000 plus is how good this feels. I don't know what the retail price is. I'll put it up now. I don't put it up on the end like I always do. But this just feels so smooth, so good, so capable. Holy cow. The counter steering does feel a little bit, um, it doesn't feel as though you can counter steer as easy, but it's still very good. As you guys could tell from the test ride, this bike is a 10 out of 10 for me. It feels like it has everything. It was comfortable. It was powerful. Um, my feet were not cramped or bothering me. This little pad here on my lower back was great. The handlebars, perfect distance from my body, perfect distance uh, spread out from each other. The dash is a little bit small, but you can see everything you need. It does not have a gear indicator which I don't have one on my bike, so it wasn't that big of a deal. I mean, oof. everything I've heard from people reviewing this bike, they say it's a mediocre bike. And I can tell you from someone just getting into the class of adventure or middle-class adventure, adventure touring bikes, this felt amazing. It felt like it had everything you need, not lacking anything. I said during the video that I would buy this bike on the used market for six to seven thousand. I'll put some uh, for sale for around the 2015 year up over here. We'll see how close I was. I don't know how much these costs used. And for brand new, I said this felt like a ten thousand dollar bike. So I'll put the MSRP for the 2023 model for 2024 up right here and we'll see how close I was. Overall, great bike. And big shout out to Alex Dombey. We ride too. I'll link his channel below. This is his bike. He let me test ride it. It was amazing. If you want to see me test ride the competitor of this bike, the NC750, click this video right here. If you want to see me test ride other bikes, click this playlist right here. Rapping when they own me to sing. But still they call. They all want an album, so I gave them 20 singles. Yeah, I'm trying to get a hit. That's why I swing.